All right. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm here to introduce to you a triple extension module called Triple J Browse um, and kind of take you on a little, a short five minute journey, <laughs> really, of the history of this module um, and how collaboration really is what brought us to the point where we're at today. Um, and so if you haven't inferred from the name of the module, it involves two pieces of software known as Triple and JBrowse. Um, and I don't have time to go into what those are if you're not familiar with them. But luckily, um, the two of the core developers for each of them are here with us today. And they have talks coming up in BOSS. So my colleague uh, Lacey is talking tomorrow about Triple. And Colin is directly after me. So just don't go anywhere. Uh, um, but the, the TLDR of what you need to know about um, these two is that Triple is a highly customizable um, web toolkit um, for, to create biological databases. And JBrowse is a genome browser. And so um, this module tries to incorporate JBrowse into a Triple website. So way back in 2015, my colleague Lacey wanted to implement this module. And so she started with JBrowse 1, um, Triple version 2, and Drupal 7. And she just went ahead and embedded it on a Triple page. And as you can see, it's things are kind of a mess. Um, the CSS classes were like cla really clashing between Drupal and JBrowse. Um, it didn't know, like JavaScript versions didn't line up between them. Um, and it was completely non-functional. So a user couldn't go in and try you know, to navigate the genome. Um, so that was a problem. Um, and so we ended up resorting to using an iframe. And that did you know, get rid of all those issues that we were having because it keeps um, JBrowse in kind of its own little container inside of uh, a triple site. Um, but there's unfortunately a lot of downsides to this as well. Um, and that's the, that the database can't really communicate. The databases underneath can't communicate with each other. Um, and so we envisioned, for example, on triple gene pages, you would go to search for your gene of interest on a triple page, on a triple site, um, and it would show kind of a little J browse of that gene, like pre-zoomed in and everything. So those could be created dynamically on the fly. Um, and then iframe just doesn't allow us to do that. And so, Lacey is very stubborn, and she wanted, really wanted to make that work at some point. So she went to the JRouse team for help. Um, and she did this by, with, through conversations in person and through GitHub. And so you can still see that issue open from way back when, when she brought it up. She fully described what problems um, she was seeing with it. And then she even set up an entire triple test instance. And so she tried to eliminate the overhead of the JBrowse team having to install Drupal and Triple themselves in order to help troubleshoot the problem. So she she really tried to make it as easy for them as possible. Um, and thankfully, over the course of a few months to a year, we eventually got to a point where JBrowse was working inside of a Drupal site. And so that was very exciting and promising for us. But by the time we were at a point where we could try and upgrade our module to truly embed and insert having the database interaction, um, web technology got ahead of us. And so um, that leads to new problems with integration, um, unfortunately. <laughs> and so JBrowse had changed a bit of their CSS infrastructure. And Drupal, of course, still had a lot of uh, CSS problems as well. And so it was looking like you know we were just not able to keep up with it. But um, with major software upgrades, it's an opportunity for better integration. Um, so largely thanks to community feedback, uh, JBrowse 2 and Drupal 8 and up really uh, kept in mind software integration um, during their major upgrades, and we really noticed this. And so we went ahead with JBrowse 2 and the newest version of Triple, not quite released yet, but Triple 4 and Drupal 10, um, that we were able to embed it. It was, it was pretty straightforward. Um, we didn't really run into issues. And so now um, we can finally see a, way, a path forward and finally um, accomplishing what we want with our own upgrade of this module. Um, so 
quickly, the lessons we kind of learned is that it requires work and sustained effort on our part. Um, there will be setbacks, so try not to get discouraged by those and keep your options open, but always you know, check back. Maybe your ideal situation will work out for you. And with that, I want to thank you.